My name is Jacob Bursage. I am a senior this year. I've been at Apopka High School for four years. My most memorable part of last year was probably the first football game because it was really fun and I enjoyed being with my friends. I actually have a picture up here, if we can see it. Yep, there it is. That was my most memorable part. I'm looking forward to performing in my jazz program this year and I also am looking forward to keeping my grades up so I can get into college. The best TV show I watched this summer was definitely Breaking Bad. I didn't expect it to be as good as I thought it was, but it was phenomenal. Probably Moon River. I listen to that song a lot, but the version I listen to the most is by Jacob Collier, who's a new and upcoming artist, but it's actually really good. That's been in my head right now time I laughed this summer was at Zaxby's with my friends. We went out to eat and we were walking in and everything was okay. And then my friend in front of me tripped over nothing. He was just walking, went, went to the door and then pff, fell right to the floor. It was so funny. In connection with the last question, I actually ate at Zaxby's a lot this summer. I ate like five times there, six, probably more. I'm obsessed with it. I intend to keep my grades up this year so I can get into a good college and I can go forward in my life. I also plan on upping my saxophone game a lot too to be better at my instrument. My biggest challenge is probably going to be taking two Valencia classes on top of seven classes at the school. That's not going to be fun, but I believe I can do it. Probably the fact that I'm about to graduate and I'm not going to have as much homework as I already do now. A song to describe my life, probably I've Gotta Be Me by Sammy Davis Jr. Probably because of the lines, I've Gotta Be Me is the chorus of the song. And I feel like throughout my life, that's what I've been telling myself is I have to be myself. And if I can't be myself, then there's no point in being here. I'd like to shout out my mom and my grandma. I probably wouldn't be where I am right now if I didn't have them. And I'm super thankful for both of them. They're probably the most important things in my life right now. Jacob Bursa J, February 16th, 2020. The best thing that happened in 2019 was going to the state championships for football. That was a really fun night. I stayed at Disney's Saratoga, I stayed at Disney's Saratoga Springs for my Christmas break in 2019. Best thing I got for Christmas is probably my Switch. Pretty cool. Highly unpopular opinion, but best song of 2019 was Moon River by Jacob Collier, hands down. The best movie of 2019 was The Irishman, directed by Martin Scorsese. Worst movie was de like definitely Cats. I, it got like a 0 0.8 on Rotten Tomatoes, and it truly is the worst movie I've ever seen in my entire life. I think the most significant thing that's happened to me in the past 10 years is moving to Florida from Georgia. It's been a, a huge change, but I think I've finally gotten accustomed to life here and it's it's nice. But I think that's probably the biggest change and the biggest thing that's happened to me in the past 10 years. The hardest thing is to not get senioritis and give up in the last two months of school because I procrastinate a lot, but that's, that's probably the, the hardest thing to do is to overcome senioritis. The worst thing that probably could have happened in 2019, didn't directly happen to me, but it affected millions of others was the burning of the Notre Dame Cathedral in France. That was a huge, huge event that happened and it's, it was just horrible. I was really scared during the time that Mr. Scahill was gone because his cancer is very, it was very bad and I saw how it affected him in the early stages. And I, I prayed every day that he got better when I went to the second period that he would be better, he'd come back and he'd get accustomed to life again because cancer is truly an awful thing. Best thing I gave for Christmas in 2019 was a Disney ticket to some of my closest friends and we all went together and spent the day at Disney. It was a really fun day and even though I gave it to them, I was really giving it myself to have a good, really good day with them. School year's going pretty good. My grades are, are pretty good. Um, the funniest thing that's probably happened is um, one day Mr. Langford wasn't in our band class and we played, and we, we had a 100 minute block because we have a bunch of testing and we played Just Dance for an hour and 40 minutes straight. 
in the band room. It was so fun. We're good. We're good. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I plan on attending Valencia College for two years, earning my Associate of Arts degree and transferring to UCF to pursue a degree in Information Technology. Best thing about Popka High School is definitely the spirit. Obviously, I'm wearing it right now. I, I, I love the spirit at our school. Everybody has so much pride when it comes to football games and blue and white days, and that's my favorite part. Most memorable moment of the school year is probably the homecoming football game. I felt like a million bucks that night. Like it was just so much fun being on court, being able to still play with my band friends and it was just so much fun. I will never forget that for the rest of my life. 20 years from now, probably the Van Fire in 2017. I'm definitely gonna remember this coronavirus messing up the last half of my senior year. That I won't forget that ever. What else? Um. That's pretty much probably the homecoming game my senior year. That's I, I, that was a good night, but that's probably what I'll remember. The year was pretty good, other than the coronavirus basically ruining my senior. Year. It, it didn't really ruin it, but it delayed a lot of things that I really wanted to happen sooner. But overall, it was okay. Most memorable, I'm gonna be honest. One day when Mr. Scahill wasn't there for his personal reasons his care um we we had like five people playing call of duty on our phones this is when it just came out and it was, it was actually, actually cool like we played it for like four days but it was a movie we had already watched so we were sitting there in the corner just playing on our phones and i think that was the most memorable thing probably because it was so funny Funniest thing that happened in film class was when Caleb Powers, I think is his last name, I don't know. He's he's in my second period. He was trying to, he, he was going back and forth with Mr. Scahill saying some stupid stuff. And then he was saying something like his mom was 32. And my friend Owen turned around and says, dog, you know, you just said that your mom had you when you were 16. <laughs> and he just, he didn't talk to the rest of the class. It was so funny. Uh, that, that was definitely the most the funniest moment of class. I want to be remembered as the person who can make people laugh and make people happy when maybe they didn't think they could be happy. I also want to be remembered as someone who is really spirited. I, I, I see myself as the most spirited guy there. I mean, I, I loved my school so much. I moved from Georgia not knowing anyone and I ended my senior year knowing almost everyone. I mean, I, 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 I made myself known and I just hope that people remember me as that. Uh, some memorable teachers I've had, uh, probably my Algebra 2 teacher, Mr. Hyde. He was so, like, not strict, but he was so focused all the time. He would never joke at all. And one day, he said a joke. He said, yeah, it was, it was about a calculator. Somebody said his calculator wasn't working. And he said, your calculator can't lack for your lack of proficiency. And... Uh, everybody started laughing because that was the only joke he said all year and so that was probably one of the most memorable teachers besides him being just a phenomenal teacher and he's a great math teacher in 10 years i'm hoping i'm living in a decent nice house with a nice job in information technology maybe married I don't know. <laughs> I, I, to be honest, I don't, I don't know what the future holds, but hopefully it's good things. If I had a dollar for every time Mr. Scahill said to put his put someone's phone away, like, you know, Kayla, put your phone away. This person, put your phone away. Like, I'd, I'd be a millionaire. That's something I definitely will remember. It's him saying, phones. Oh, also the sexting. He thought we all sexted, but we didn't. Well, I didn't. And I can't speak for everyone else. All my friends know who they are. They know I love them. Um, some teachers I want to thank. I want to thank Ms. Brown, Mr. Scahill, duh. Um, Mr. Pellucci, Mr. Hyde, my Algebra 2 teacher. He was phenomenal. There's, all of my teachers I've ever had have always been there for me. And 
I couldn't have made, made it through high school without them. I regret taking my last day for granted. One, because I didn't know it was my last day because of the virus canceling everything. But that's probably the main thing I regret is not like taking a minute and saying, this could be my last time going. Cause I, I, the virus was, it, it was going on, but we didn't know we would be gone for this long out of school. So that's probably what I regret the most. So the clip I'm gonna save is special to me. The reason I'm, sh I'm sharing it, it's a video of the football players running out and you know hitting the banner and going to the football field. But it's from the student section because that was the only night I sat in the student section because I was on homecoming court. So that's why it's special to me that I actually got to watch the football game. That's, I'm, that's the only one I'm gonna include because I think that's the most special one to me, especially, and I hope it's special to other people. My name is Zach Lindsay. I'm in 11th grade. Uh, I've been going to Popka High School for since like freshman year, so freshman, sophomore, junior now. Uh, I was at uh, Wolf Lake Middle School before a Popka High School. Uh, what was the most memorable thing that happened last year that connected with school? Uh, baseball. Uh, we had like Cody Miller jumped out and like fought this kid in like Pensacola on our spring break field trip. That was crazy memorable. Uh, the most thing I'm looking forward to this year is I'm looking forward to um, the baseball season and grinding with my boys. Uh, the best movie slash TV show that I saw this summer, uh, probably The Fosters. Like I finished all The Fosters and I, I liked it and it was good. Uh, the song going through my head right now is probably uh, Young Prodigy by Kodak. Um, what song artist do I actually hate? Uh, I hate Lil Pump because he always be yelling and shit and it's annoying. Uh, one time I laughed at someone was um. Uh, Um, I was chilling with my friend Wesley and he was like throwing fireworks out the window and he was driving and like these cars were like freaking out. I laughed at that. Uh, I ate at Chick-fil-A most this summer. I ate at Chick-fil-A all the time. My biggest challenge this year was keeping my grades up and like trying to focus on school more than more than like social activities and stuff like that. Um, the biggest change between now and the end of school year is probably gonna be like my friend group and like my girlfriend. I don't know what could happen, but probably I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, if you could describe your life in one song right now, what would the song be? Uh, like I said before, I got like Young Prodigy. That'd probably be it. Uh, sing a line of it. Um, young Prodigy, I'm a Young Flamion, some shit like that, I don't really know. Give a shout out to whoever is important to your life right now. Uh, Alexis Riley, my girlfriend. Wesley we'll Luffingberg, my boy. That's about it. Yeah, that's it. Peace. Hi, my name is Zach Lindsay and it's February 7th. The best thing that happened to me in 2019 was probably... Um... I got a car. Yeah, that's probably the best thing. The worst thing that happened to me in 2019 is probably I got stripped out. Yeah. And then the best thing or like the funniest thing about the school year uh, was probably this fight I seen. I mean, and the school year is going pretty good right now. Oh, Mr. Skate, he was, all, I was gone. I just was hoping he was all right and that he wasn't gonna die or nothing. And then I just stayed home for Christmas, you know, stayed with the fam. Uh, the best thing I gave for Christmas was I got my girlfriend a Pandora ring or whatever she wanted. And the best thing I got for Christmas was probably just this bracelet, nothing much. Um, I don't really have a best song of 2019. I don't really like pay attention that much. 
The best movie of 2019 was probably um, the Star Wars movie. It was pretty good. Um, the worst movie. Hmm. I don't really know what the worst movie was. The hardest thing to accomplish in 2019 or the this rest of the school year is prob probably be my grades. Keeping them up. The most important and significant thing that's happened to me in the last 10 years. Um, I'd probably say baseball. I just continue to play baseball. It's a lot. Hi, I'm Austin Miller. I am a junior. I'm in 11th grade. I've been out of Popka High School for two years. This is my third year. The most memorable thing that happened at school last year was just messing around and making memories with friends. I'm most looking forward to this year is making new memories with the friends I have and meeting new people. The best movie I saw this summer, it's been out for a while, but it's one of my favorites, was Top Gun. The song going through my head right now is Beer Never Broke My Heart by Luke Combs. I just like it and it's a fun song to sing with. An artist I absolutely hate right now is Lil Nas X because he's overrated. One time I laughed this summer was at my job, I'm a lifeguard, and someone went to go sit down into their inner tube, and when they went to go sit down, they flipped all the way over into the water, and it was just really funny to watch. The place I ate the most at last summer was probably Frogger's. I really like their wings. Something I intend to do this school year is to stay on top of all my schoolwork. Um, it probably won't happen. My biggest challenge this school year will probably be trying to stay on task in school because I just don't enjoy it and it's not fun for me. If I could describe my life in a song right now, it would be Beer Never Broke My Heart by Luke Combs. Long neck, ice cold beer never broke my heart. Who's important in my life right now is my two friends, Braden Aho and Joshua Campbell. They're just always there when I need someone to talk to and they're just there for me and whatever I need. I'm Austin Miller. The date is February 24th, 2020. The best thing that happened in 2019 was I got my car. The worst thing that happened in 2019 was my brother got really sick. School so far this year is going really good and something funny is just start discussions that we have in Skyhill's class. They always make me laugh. When Skyhill was gone for both months of September and October, the main question I had was if he was still alive. For Christmas of 2019, I pretty much just stayed at home. The best thing I gave for Christmas was that I bought my brother a guitar. The best thing I got for Christmas and what I use the most is the TV that's now in my room. In my opinion, one of the best songs released in 2019 was I Wish Grandpa's Never Died by Riley Green. One of my favorite movies of 2019 was um, Ford vs. Ferrari. The worst movie of 2019 is any of the Disney movies that are Star Wars. Once Disney bought Star Wars, Star Wars just went downhill and kind of sucks now. Bringing up my math grade is going to be the hardest thing from now until the end of school because I failed the first two quarters. Something I remember from 2019 is kicking off 2019 with my friends. One of the most significant things that happened to me in the last 10 years was I started driving and I got my car which gave me a new type of freedom. State your name, bitch. <laughs> Dude, you can't keep on doing this shit. State your name. Victor. What grade are you in? Ninth grade. How long have you been at a Popco High School? Um, like months. So you aren't new, right? I'm new. We're all new. Fuck, I messed up the question. Alright, we gotta restart that shit. No, nigga. No, like the question. Let me restart the question. Let's restart the video. Did you say the N word? Shut no, the you fuck up. Shut the fuck up. How long have you been at Apopka High School? If you are new at Apopka High School, where were you? This could be middle school. Wait, right, so I'm new. Um, my first. This is my first year. We've just been here for months. Um, yeah, in middle what, school. What was the other middle school? Wolf Lake. Elementary. Middle. Oh. Fuck you. Man. What was the most memorable thing that happened last year that connected? Was that was connected with school? Um, this nigga is short. Hello. 
What are you what are you most looking forward to this year? Uh are you getting a girlfriend? Shut the fuck up. You're gonna broke my heart. If they ask who who she is, don't answer that, Victor. Alright. What was the best movie T V slash T V show that you saw this summer? You know. It's know. still summer. It's still summer so you can say any other thing after, like until September it's not summer. I mean it don't matter. Mid nineties and community. Damn. Mine was searching reasons why. Fuck yeah, nigga, that shit was sad as hell. Only the last scene. You know what scene I'm talking about? The broom? (laughs) 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 You know what I'm talking about. Did you say the N word? We're gonna have to (laughs) bleep. I'm not restarting though. We ain't restarting. What song is going through your head right now? You better not say any Tyler song, you loser. No, but. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, um, probably like Amine. Any Amine. Amine. It's a mean He says. Okay, but I remember the first time you said anime. I was like, you stupid. <laughs> I, anime. I. What song or artist do you absolutely hate and why? Oh, Trippy yeah. Red, you ugly Trippy as fuck. <laughs> I, um, I, X, like dead. Yeah, I fucking hate dead people. <laughs> <laughs> when was one time you laughed this summer? What was it and what made you laugh? You know what it was when I almost died. Yeah. <laughs> Guy fell down the hill, and then <laughs> they were asking him, "Are you all right?" No, check my phone. <laughs> check my phone. Is it all right? Uh, remember the little kids came out running up? Yes, they came out instantly. Like, there you right. go. What is going to be? Oh, wait, no, no, no. We we skipped the question. What place did you eat at most this last summer? Jennifer oh. House, if you know what I mean. Ah ha ha. Nah, yeah, probably like, Denny's. Denny's? <laughs> nice. I went to IHOP. And Kiki's, nigga. Or Don't Pepe's. Don't yeah, forget Don't Pepe's. Like, Kiki's is ass, whatever my parents make me go. I mean... Uh, what is something you intend to do, quote unquote, this year? We gotta finish the Skelly Ollie. Tapes. Oh, oh. Oh, and the Skelly Tapes, too. Coming soon. Coming soon. Ollie and Skelly Tapes. Ollie. And Pop Shove it. I, I mean, I think Ollie comes with Pop Shove it. That shit easy. Not the 360. Alright. No, 180. There you go. What is going to be your biggest challenge this year? Fucking getting a girlfriend. Or a boyfriend. Never know. No, nigga! <laughs> <laughs> what is. Stop, please! What is going to be the biggest change? And you between now and the very end of school, my dick size. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, like. Watch this shit, like, be muted so they fucking. You have to go again. But no, it's, that shit's gonna come out in seven years. I'm not even gonna be in high school in seven years. What are you talking about? It's gonna come out in seven years in YouTube. What song, nigga? That. Oh, this? Alright. Oh, let's go. Oh, shit. Uh, so the biggest change, what was that going to be again? Did we answer that? Yeah, dick size. <laughs> Damn, I got some boogers in my nose. Hold up. Yeah, hey, you just can't say that shit. I'm just going to go that. If you could describe... When or not... No, yeah, would it... <laughs> if you could just... If you could describe your life in a long... In life... If you could describe your life in a song right now, what song would it be? Sing a line of it. I knew you'd be my world. Yeah. <laughs> I know it. Damn. You know it's got to be one of my songs. Um, but I don't fall for men. Exactly. I knew you'd be my world. Oh! I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Shit. I'm going to make a second one. That's a real girl. Um. Okay. Probably like. Oh, you can only record for a minute on this? What? It restarts every minute. It says it's one minute. Eh, fuck it. Give it. Oh. So what song is it? Probably. Love Scars, head ass. Uh, Maybe I kill. Is that even the right song? Yeah, hey, I, I kill people. Like Real Life people. Love Scars too. Uh. Oh yeah. Well. Um. God. Retro eighty eight, cause we'd be flexing on the fucking CDG Nikes, nigga. No, like. 
the high top Cortez. The question: What is your favorite? What is the? If you could describe your life in a song right now, oh, what would you like? No. Just the answer. Oh, just the answer. Just the answer. Oh, um, Mikhail Smith. I want to stop hating. Start trying. What was the lyric? A line. Damn, we're gonna we're gonna get every single million for every is it single kid me? we drop. Did you hear my name? No. All right. Um, did I cut you out? Nah, they, they're gonna hear you because my voice is lower than yours sometimes. Yeah. Give a shout out to whomever is important to your life right now. Say what you want. They can say what it, what they want. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Jorge. No, uh, no, my real name. Oh, wait, wait, giving all my nicknames. I, I, all my nicknames. Um, which one, Kai? Uli with the Tuli. No, no, it was tw- 40. 2024. 2024. Um. Because 2012 was taken. Uh, small nigga did, um, try to get that vitamin C, um. Oldie with the Thule? Yes. Glock? Glock 2024? 2024. Glock Avi 2024? Glock Avi star emoji? Uh. I I say what say what you want. It says say what you want. I don't know what that means. Damn, I mean, you like a brother, I guess, but at the same time. If on some Alabama shit, too. On some Alabama shit. <laughs> <laughs> They can say what they want. Ooh, they're giving me too much power. Asian bitches. <laughs> Asian bitches cute. <laughs> Asian bitches cute. Okay. Oh, oh, another thing I'd like to say is Uli with a Tuli. Another thing I'd like to say is Curly Head Kareem, I think. Nah, nah, that's the wrong name. I mean, Buffman Quest. Uh, fucking... I dropped a song. <laughs> I got Juan Pablo mad. EP coming soon. EP coming soon. I forgot. Marshalls. It's gonna be called Marshalls. Marshalls. Yeah. And then wasn't it gonna call it slash something else? No. no, that's the EP. Then oh, I'm have another man. one. Plymouth before engine, and then Plymouth, and then Plymouth Wolf two. I already got like 15 albums planned, fool. Damn. You got all of like, them. All of them gonna be hits. Every single song on it. You got like 500 songs in my like hard drive. I only got like 10. I'm gonna keep it real. They're like old songs too that I made on fucking when I made the first song. <laughs> okay, okay. Dan, did you hear my new song? Hey, yeah, yeah, I heard um, I heard that the fucking teacher's dope as fuck. I wish I could be in your class. The fuck, my counselor wouldn't let me in. Okay, I had okay. Miss Boone last year, fool. She was thick. You Wait, probably knew her. Yes, I did. No, I'm asking. I'm asking the teacher right now, fool. I'm talking to him. Nah, but you knew Miss Boone. She was remember thick. When, remember when you we. You went to put the waffles there? Oh yeah, I took a shit. Yeah, <laughs> we had to go inside and then like, we saw her. She made me stay for extra credit, if you know what I mean. I, I can't say that, right? That shit's illegal. It doesn't yeah. matter if they don't know what it means. No, it didn't happen. Nothing happened between Miss Miss Boone. She wouldn't let me do anything. <laughs> uh, she like a mom to me, like a stepmom in those videos on porn. <laughs> Damn. You can the next question. That is the last. That's the last question. That's the last question. Yeah. Oh, we know we fucked up the question. It's whomever, and I said whoever. We can't. We can't. We gotta restart the whole thing. Nah, nigga. Stop I, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it with me showing my kick-ass shoes. <laughs> yes. Y'all niggas don't got these. <laughs> Y'all niggas don't got these. It's fucking gray on the bottom. It's supposed to be orange, nigga. Yeah. Okay. Dope as hell. You trying to turn the camera? <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> <laughs> I tell you, oh, nigga, what the hell? We don't. Alright, this over? Okay, you're dead. Okay. My name is Victor. Day, um, today's date is January 30th, 2020. What is the best thing that happened in 2019? Probably the point that I met new people in school. What's the worst thing that happened in 2019? Probably this, the opposite. I lost a lot of people like that I was really close to. Describe how the school year is going so far and what is something fun or good that happened in class or at school. The school year is going good. It's great, but there's not really anything interesting in particular. Maybe like the whole point that the new people are more, I don't know, relatable. 
that's it. And there's nothing funny. I mean, the class is beyond funny. We keep on laughing in class, but yeah. Skate Hills was gone September and October. What was something that was going through your mind about his absence? Mm. We were, I mean, a whole bunch of people thought he was dead. Another part thought, oh, he's probably sick, which you can count it as sick, I guess. Um, Yeah. What did he do for Christmas 2019? We went to my mom's side of the family, and it was pretty boring. It was boring. A whole bunch of people were sleeping. I was trying to sleep. Um, my phone was dying. And, yeah. Um, what is the best thing that you gave for Christmas? Um, maybe money. That's it. Practically it. My presents. I'm just saying, um, no, money. What was the best thing you got for Christmas? Money, I don't know if my skateboard counts because I got it most more close to January than December, but my skateboard, I guess. Well, my board because my skateboard I already had. What was the best song of 2019? It must have been released that year. Maybe Babushka Boy, but it. Yeah, it, it's funny as hell. I, I don't know. Well, yeah, that song by ASAP Rocky. What was the best movie of 2019? I don't know. Oh, wait. I'm pretty sure mid-90s was made in by John on Hill. John on Hill was released in 2019 or 18. I don't know. 2019 somewhere there. It's close. Um, if not that, maybe. What's my first movie that came out? Um, I don't know. I don't have favorite movies. It's not really. What's the worst movie of 2019? It could have have been. Um, it was probably the earlier movies that we started watching in, in class. I started falling asleep, I'm not gonna lie. I started falling asleep. Like, the, the classes of the special kids, I fell asleep on that one. <laughs> I fell asleep. What is gonna be the hardest, hardest thing to accomplish between now and the end of school? Maybe the point that I'm probably failing, I'm, I have a 1.8 GPA. It's not good for me. Um, it's I'm pass, not passing at all. But I got people to help me get to where I need to, like advisors and stuff. I might pass. Um, what's going to be the? Oh, never mind. Um, include. Include a film clip minimum of one or five of you or an event of something you will remember. That's gonna be hard. Um, I have no videos at all. Like. Like all 2019, I I've been in the dark ages. You see here, no videos because one I don't like to get recorded. So why would I record? The um, but I'll find something. I'll find something. The beginning of 2020 marks the a decade a decade 2010 to 2020. In looking back at the last 10 years, what 
do you think was the most important significant thing that has happened to you in the last 10 years? I started involving myself with other people like girls and stuff and then I started turning myself into something that I like. Like I still think that other things make me special. I think I guess it's whatever it's um like without skateboard if no one invented skateboarding I, w I, I would be bored as hell no yeah I would be bored as hell yeah and that's it You said in a bush. <laughs> ah, he went down. But school, cause I was really hard on the beat. S.A.J. Osama, you gonna be on, uh, 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 My name is, wait, state your name. Brian Rivera, what grade are you in? Ninth grade. Uh, how long have you been in a Popka high school? First year, freshman year, ninth grade. Uh... I came from a Popka Middle School. Uh, what was the most memorable thing that happened last year? Leaving middle school. What are you most looking forward to this year? Finishing freshman year. No, oh, no, I don't care. Best TV show slash movie or whatever. I like anime, so I like. Dragon Ball Z, the Broly movie that came out, uh, that happened 2019, slash, uh, I like Fast and the Furious, it's pretty dope, I guess, um, Hobbs and Shaw, I don't know, mm, Dragon Ball Z, what's the song going through your head right now, JL Sama, fuck school, cause I was really hot on the beat, da da da, okay, yeah, I'm done with that page. Uh, what song or artist do you absolutely hate? Uh, 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 Kendrick Lamar. I don't like Kendrick Lamar. I don't know why. I just don't like him. He's just a little Uzi. Well, Uzi, he pretty wild, but I don't know. I feel like he... Never mind. Now I ain't gonna say that. When was the one time you laughed um, when I was at my cousin? Cousin came down from Pennsylvania. We went to Denny's. We started laughing out of nowhere. Milkshake came through out his nose. Uh, what place did you eat the most? Uh, Chick fil A. I like the chicken nuggets. I like the milkshake. Strawberry milkshake. French fries. Boom. I'm happy. You're happy. We're all happy. Uh, what is something you intend to do this year? I don't know. I don't care. I live one day at a time. You know what I'm saying? I know what I'm saying. You all know what I'm saying. What is going to be the, your biggest challenge this year? School. What is going to be the biggest change to now and the very end of school year? I don't know. My parents. I don't know. If you could describe your life in a song right now what uh if you could describe your life in a song right now what would the song be i am tired good night good night i don't know uh give a shout out to whoever is important in your life right now say what you want they can say what they want.
I love my mom. I don't know. That's cool. Mom's cool. I don't know. I'm dying. I don't want to do this no more. I'm going to sleep. Good night. Boom. Finally, we did it. took so long. Full name and date of taping. Brian Rivera. It's like March 2nd, Monday. Last minute, no. What was the best thing that happened in 2019? Uh, my nephew, my third nephew, or my brother, oldest brother. Uh, his name is Sebastian. Probably the best thing. No. Little Renee. What was the worst thing that happened? Uh, worst thing that happened? Um, really don't know. Nothing really like too crazy happened in 2019 that I can remember. Uh, what was the word? Uh, describe how the school year is going so far. What was some funny or good things that was happening? What was something funny or good that has happened in class or at school? Um. Third period class, Nick, voices behind me. I don't know if he tries to act dumb or he's really retarded. It's kind of scary, but it's funny at the same time. I guess that's really funny. Um, Skate Hill was gone September and October. What was something that was going through your mind about his absence? Oh, I thought he got like, he did get really sick, but I thought like he wasn't coming back. I thought he retired early. I was like, oh, that was a bummer that we didn't get to really know our teacher that well. But but he came back though, so I mean, that's pretty good. What did you, you do for Christmas? Oh, what I did for Christmas was um, my two cousins from Pennsylvania, they had came down and did, we, I just spent a lot of time with them. And we just chilled, just had fun. What was the best song of 2019? Best song, probably NBA Youngboy. Um, Yeah, NBA Youngboy songs are always the best, you know. Come out, makes drops a lot of songs, but I can't think about one on top of my head. But yeah, what was the best movie of 2019? What came out in 2019? Endgame. Avengers Endgame, of course, has to be the best. Uh, what was the worst movie of 2019? Oh shit. I don't really know. I usually watch movies that would entertain me. I don't really watch movies that I think are bad and then watch them and be like, oh yeah, they are bad. I just, you know, watch ones that are entertaining. Usually they're really good. Some are disappointing sometimes, like the Fast and Furious movie. Um, I don't know which one came out, but the one that came out in 2019, I didn't really like it. It's pretty bad. It's disappointing. What is going to be the hardest thing to accomplish between now and the end of the school? Grades. They usually say freshman year is like the hardest year. I'm kind of believing that because from middle school to high school, it's pretty hard. And it's like... I'm not used to it still, even though it's going to be the end of the year. Um, who would they film clip of? I don't know really, I really don't know why, but 2019 was a blur for me. I really can't remember anything that happened in 2019. Pretty interesting. A lot happened so fast. Like, I felt like 2019 was like in like three months. Um, I don't know. Uh, the beginning of 2020 marks a, a decade. Last 10 years, what do you think was the most important, significant thing that has happened to you in the last 10 years? Most important thing happened was about family, you know. Um, Three of my family members have passed away from cancer, and it's, it gets like sad. 
because it's hard sometimes but like you just keep looking forward it was like my grandma had passed away from cancer like six years ago and then two years ago my cousin she was 20, 21 20 she just turned 20 she had passed away from breast cancer and then her older sister was I think 23 she had passed away from breast cancer as well um, I think a year ago 2019 that's what happened and I really don't like looking back at that time because it sucks because they were so young when they had passed away and sometimes I think I take life for granted it's like sad but it happens you can't really do nothing about it but yeah I think from those years it's a your loved ones always have to like I don't know how to explain it but don't take life for granted it's like what I'm trying to say it sucks but yeah that's, that's it finally did it don't need this no more with that pink paper boom I've done it I was about to go to sleep and I remember I'm Brianna Mead. Hi. I'm a bit weird, so, yeah. I'm in 12th grade. Uh, it's senior year. I'm nervous. I'm excited. I kind of want to see how this year plays out, different than all the other years. But I'm also not looking forward to it, because I'd rather go back to the ninth grade year and just relive high school all over again and fits all of my mistakes as I'm sure everyone else would but can't go backwards only go forwards let's just hope this year is better than the last I have been out of Popka high school for four years now it's been fun it's been crazy and I would not change my experience for the world, even though I'm pretty sure there are multiple things I would love to change. Actually, no, there are multiple things I would love to change, but I still wouldn't do it because it made me into who I am, and it is great. So, yeah. So, the most memorable thing of last year was me finding someone and then having him taken away multiple times and me constantly having to, because I had to take eight classes. I failed chemistry my sophomore year and then my junior year I took it online. So I was taking eight classes, all my regular classes along with chemistry. I was staying up till 4 a.m. at night and then waking up at 5 a.m. to go to school. I did it, I'm proud of myself but I am sad that because I got in trouble with because I would talk to him on the laptop and the school found out about that I got in trouble police almost got involved I was almost expelled it was an entire mess but it's high school that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to find all these problems that you have fit some so then you don't do the mistakes in college where it will affect you horribly so it affects you in high school but when because I'm 18 if I do something I can go to jail when I was 17 when all that happened it was big but it wasn't Oh, we're instantly going to arrest you, big. It was, we're going to give you multiple warnings until we drill this into you, big. And I'm greatly appreciative for it because it taught me, this boy, I may be in love with him and I may think I'm in love with him, to be honest, but maybe I'm not. But I have to focus on my schooling before I focus on him.
that's what it taught me. And I would love to teach all the kids and all the rest of my friends that. But I can't because no one listens to me. I don't have a thing that I'm looking forward to the most. Like, I'm not, I'm sort of looking forward to graduation, but not like everyone else. I'm mainly looking forward to making my family proud and getting that, saying that, hey, I'm passing my classes, yet I'm enjoying times with my friend that all the years growing up, i never been very outgoing, and this year I get, I'm finally getting like that. And I'm enjoying that so much. So that's one thing I'm looking forward to this year. Just enjoying the moment with my friends and passing all my classes without needing extra help. And having someone over top of me screaming in my ear to get my work done. That's me. I don't really watch TV or movies that I love. I watch things that make me laugh, like New Girl, or if I'm watching with my aunt, like Grimm, or Doctor Who with my cousin, stuff like that. I have sh TV shows, or Netflix shows, that are just, or Amazon, really, both, that are just there, that I watch whenever I need noise and I want to laugh. That's really what... I do. There's no specific one. Okay, I'm getting tired. I'm getting really, really tired of just taking and writing out all the questions. So, I'm just going to read and say, answer them. Because, yeah. I'll do, I'll pause it in between. It's just a lot to just type out each thing, take a screenshot, make sure that there's no other words or anything, cut it all out, crop it. It's, it's a lot. It's, it's just a lot. I'm sorry, future me. I'm sorry to whoever sees this. It's not very bleh, pretty, perfect, whatever. I'm probably going to regret that I didn't do it in the future, but I liked it. I like that I did it. And I like that I decided that I didn't really want to spend that time typing out all 15 questions. Because it's a lot. I'm sorry. So, the next question is what song is going through your head right now? And it's Pretty Face by Public. And the I'm sorry. And the reason is, is because I met a guy online last, well, my sophomore year, technically. And I started to date him over the summer and through last, my, my junior year. I'm a senior, not a junior. And I was seeing him during my junior year. My family didn't like him. And the school found out that I was talking to him on the laptop so that was a whole mess which I think I explained I believe so I'm forgetful and I'm sorry but this song reminds me of that and it's kind of helping me cope with it I guess I'm fine now but sometimes I do think back like why did I do this why what went wrong why all these things but here it is. I don't sing. I can't sing without a dying like a horse. So, yeah. Pretty face by public. This is probably illegal too. Oh, well. There we go. So, yeah. Sorry, Scale. So, one next question is, when was one time you laughed this summer? I laughed when I was in North Carolina with my cousins. They came down from Virginia to hang out with my granddad. And I went up there. And we were just having fun. It was like 12 a.m., 1 a.m. 
we were illegally drinking just one bottle of beer for each, except for flipping some kid. Uh, well, he's not some kid. I just horrible at names. His name is Alan. Um, we were. There are multiple times I laughed. But, okay. This kid, Alan. On this is a different story, but somehow he was wearing socks, and there was a fork on the back porch apparently. Well, not the back, the front, and. A fork went through the sock into his foot. A fork. Do you know how hard you have to kick a fork for it to go into your foot right here? He just went. And he was drinking. Idiot was high. A whole bunch of stuff. And my aunt had to take him to the hospital in North Carolina where it's illegal to smoke weed. I don't smoke. I may have a glass of wine with my cousins and maybe a beer with them, but that's about it. And it was definitely like one time. But the idiot. So they didn't need to do anything, didn't need to give him any shots, nothing. They just took the fork out, wrapped it up. Now that was on a Wednesday. We had Thursday and Friday to do. So, yeah. Great. But, um, anyway, back to the whole meal. That was, like, one time that I left. Um, we, I, we were all just sitting around just smoking, not smoking, well, he was smoking, trying to blow the smoke in my face, and it was bothering me. I almost punched the kid. I'm violent. Um, and we were talking about her and Jacob, my cousin and his girlfriend. My cousin's name is Jacob. He's an amazing boy. And we were talking about him and his girlfriend. And his girlfriend was telling me about the time that she made him jealous by accident. And my cousin, sweetest guy, so sweet, that when I was young I had a question. I don't know why. Every time it gets brought up, and every time I think about it, I throw up a little bit in my mouth. Because he's my first cousin. And it's just like, all I want to do is just smush his face and just pat his head. It's... He's great. He's a great guy. But, um... <laughs> he... Got jealous because she was talking to a guy... When they were supposedly broke up. And it was this whole mess. But he came over. He apologized. It was sweet. But we were laughing about it. Because she was telling me about how my cousin was acting. And how he kept sending her messages. And all this stuff. And it was funny. Because <laughs> he's just over there just saying. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> it was just so cute. <laughs> they're, they're a great couple. Anyway. Ignore the whole cousin country Alabama pretty much Virginia ignore that mess that was the last section I'm sorry that came out sorry Scahill <laughs> you're gonna be listening to that and be like what and I'm sorry for that I'm probably gonna be looking at myself in the future just being like what was going to my mind um <laughs> what place did you eat at the most this last summer Chick-fil-a I love chicken nuggets. Like, just give me all the chicken nuggets. That's that's all I want. It just makes me so happy. If I'm angry at you, buy me chicken nuggets. I will not be angry at you. I will love you. Like, I will hug you. I am a very simple girl. Don't buy me jewelry. I hate it when other people just buy me stuff. But if you buy me chicken nuggets, I will kiss you and I will love you. Maybe not kiss you, but like, I will most definitely hug you. So yeah. Check the list. Okay. The next one is, what is something you intend to do this year? Make my parents proud. <laughs> and do my work. And hope. I'm sorry, I got distracted. It's, it's easy to get distracted. But, um, I just want to make my family proud of me. And walk down the aisle 
and say goodbye high school, hello life, please don't kill me. Yep. My phone's about to die. I should probably charge it. What is going to be the biggest, your biggest challenge this year? Keeping my grades up and separating, like keeping myself organizing, just grades. Grades, 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 because for the past two years, I've been flunking, I've been stupid, I have just been everything I should not be, because I want to go to college, I want to show my family that, hey, I'm not going to be a stripper or a prostitute, I'm actually going to do something with myself, so yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to keep my grades up, and that's going to be a biggest challenge for me. And it sucks, but it's the challenge. So, what is going to be the biggest change in between in you between now and the very end of school? How I think, how my grades are, that's for sure. Um, how I just exist in general. My m mental state will be different. How I see everything will be different. Just me in general. It's just going to change. I'm not sure exactly how, but I just know it's going to change. Because that's just how life works. You change every moment, every second. Everything changes. There's no stopping it. It's just changed in an instant. So, yep. It's, I'm not sure how. I just know I'm going to change. But more than likely my music and how I see everything. Because, yep, I change. So, the next one is... If you could describe your life in a song right now, what would the song be? Botox feet Caroline Penelli? Penel? I don't know. It's weird. Uh, fuck it. <laughs> That's legitimately the song. Fuck it. And I will not sing it, but I will definitely play it. Okay, so pretty much, I'm falling for a guy who I should not be falling for because he is taken, and I can't date him. We like each other, we talk to each other all the time. He watched me do your class. He watched me to your class, K.O. But, I don't know what to do because I can't be with him and he has a girlfriend and she terrifies me so yeah so as you can see I'm alone but there are multiple people one my mom she is there we get into fights all the time all the time but pretty much my biological mother died and car crash that I was in and her and the dad I have now because my dad he gone my biological dad he gone don't know can't talk to him judge says no 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 so he gone so I live with my grandparents they're very protective of me everyone in my family is and it's been up and down I want freedom I want to be able to live my life but I also appreciate the sheltering I guess and them constantly being like hey who are you going with I appreciate that that is yes, that is good but sometimes my mom can do a bit much my dad he feeds me he teaches me how to drive he's an awesome person everyone in this family is awesome um, my aunt and my cousin they got me through last year I lived with them all the year and they helped me a lot. Um, 
my friend group. There's Sarah, there's Brianna, there's Emily, there's Kurt. Curse is a guy, like, he's great. Like, he is, we know that we like each other, and it's, it's a mess. We're a mess. And Brianna's awesome. She makes me laugh. Sarah's great. They, they're, everyone in my friend group is just so, they're there. I've known Sarah and Emily since freshman year. Apparently, I've known Curtis since freshman year. I don't know how we became friends. Apparently, he does. I just know that all of a sudden we were friends and we were talking, and it's like, hi. <coughs> but, yeah. I'm sorry. I have big feet. <laughs> yeah, that that that's gonna be on there. Okay. Oh well, that's staying. I'm. Bleh. But um, yeah. So. That's what they are. Those are my shout outs. I love my family. My brother's great. My aunt and cousins are great. I have technically, legally, I have a brother and two sisters. Family wise, I have an uncle and two aunts. But I call my uncle my brother because he lived with me when I was younger. And then, yeah. So. My family's a mess. If you want to talk about my family, I will talk to you and I will explain it if you want. And whoever I send this to, if I ever send it to one, because I definitely want this to be on there so I can look at myself in a year. Because I'm going to look back and be like, I hate you. I hate myself. Because I do. Yeah. I'm not dep- Well, I probably am depressed. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. But, um, but, um, that's a fun word to say. But, um, <laughs> it's gonna be a fun year. And I'm excited that I get to live my senior year. Because that has been questionable since the start. So, yep. Let's get ready for this. I'm probably on change in like the next two weeks, so. This persona, out the window, or inside a little chest inside my head to come out whenever I'm dead. That, this got depressing really fast, and I'm sorry. Well, bye. I don't know why I'm continuing this, but don't mess up your life. You're a great person. Bye. Hi, I'm Brianna Mead, and it is January 7th, 2020. Well, something that good that happened in 2019. I got my braces off. Hi. I'm happy about that. Um, but I got to enjoy a lot of family time with people I really needed to. And overall, 2019 wasn't that bad of a year in the beginning it was a little tough but as it progressed it got easier and I enjoyed my time in that year more and I hope to have another great year one of the worst things about 2019 that happened um pretty much the beginning of school year just a lot of stress and all throughout the end of junior year it was just a mess and then the start of senior year it was a lot of where am I going what is what am I going to be this year and a lot of stress from family and just me trying to figure out who exactly I am and what exactly my plans are for next year. Well, college. It is next year. Yay. Ugh. But, yeah. So, and just me trying to find out just where I want to be in the future. Um, the school year's been pretty fun. A lot of mental breakdowns, a lot of stress, but I'm enjoying it. I've met a lot of new people, 
met a lot of new teachers that are pretty cool. Love you, Scahill. <laughs> and I'm sad you avoided my hug. <laughs> I like hugs. But anyway. It overall this year has been great. I'm school year has been good to me. Kinda of upset that I'm kinda of failed in math, not English. I almost failed English, but I got a 54 in math and my family has been yelling at me for that but it's school year has been it's been great um one of the funny things that happened this year a lot of funny things happened it's hard to pinpoint just one so I'd have to say I don't know overall the entirety of the school year is funny but when one of my people in one of my classes thought that me and one of my other friends were dating, which was pretty normal with us, with everyone thinking that, but no one bothered to ask. Usually, like, we get one or two people like, oh, are y'all two dating? No one bothered to ask. <laughs> they just automatically assumed. And so whenever I said, no, I'm not dating him, they all were kind of surprised, and it was a little bit upsetting that no one thought maybe they're not dating so oh well we'll figure it out <laughs> it was a fun year so scale was gone yeah for two months what was something going through my head um okay so my aunt went through multiple different cancers I can't keep track of them um but she passed away freshman year, at the end of freshman year. And I enjoy Skelho's class, I enjoy his commentary, I enjoy his laid back attitude, but also the fact that he's strict with work and all of it. It's a fun class to be in. And I'm sad that it's not gonna be here next year because all my friends that are underclassmen won't be able to enjoy his sarcastic little attitude. And it is amazing. But, oh well. It, what was, one of the main things that was going through my head was that I hope he was doing okay. I hope that he had someone there that was keeping him healthy and just giving him support. Because I... A lot of people in my family know what it's like to watch someone that you love or that you cherish go from healthy to a vegetable and it hurts but I just hope that he was getting better and he would come back soon and just hop right back in and I was gonna give as much support as I could and try and be as best as I could because it's a lot cancer kills you pretty much it's a disease that goes through your body kills everything inside of you from the inside out that's what it is and I just wished him the best of luck and hoped he would be back so for Christmas 2019 we pretty much just everyone came over here we had food and played some games, messed around with family members a little bit, ended up calling my cousin's boyfriend, Mauricio. I accidentally called him Marcus and he did not answer to it. If you don't call him Mauricio, he doesn't answer to you. And I couldn't remember how to pronounce his name. So I just spent there for like a, like a, time span of two minutes just looking at my mom saying it's M Marcus no Mark whatever <laughs> I came up and they walked in I'm like how do you say your name and he finally said it was he pronounced it and I'm like Mauricio why can't I pronounce it and I pronounce it now because I heard it but I couldn't and it was bothering me but, yeah, it was, Christmas was great. 
It was a fun time. What was the best thing? What was the best thing in gate for Christmas? Um. I'm not big on, like, getting and receiving Christmas gifts. Like, so, my family kind of bought them, like, my parents, and then gifted them. And then, for me, what was the best thing I got for Christmas? Again, not big on it. So, I mean, I got fuzzy socks, which I need because I don't wear socks, and I'm usually barefoot, and I'm usually cold. So, hi. But I just enjoyed just being around my family and just messing around having fun. That was the only thing I asked for. Plus, I got food, so. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. I just enjoyed family time. Not big of a deal. Okay. So, what is one of my favorite songs that came out this year? Um, that would have to be Honey Bee by The Heads and the Hands. It's a weird song, but it's really beautiful, and I like it. Um, what is one of my favorite movies? I have not watched a lot of movies, but one movie that I really like that came out this year would have to be Frozen 2. It's, I like the Star Wars movie too, but I... Watched Frozen first one whenever it came out, and then I watched Frozen 2 when it came out, and I really enjoyed it. It was a lot better than the first one. I liked the mythical sense of it, it was really beautiful. The lighting, um, the worst movie, and it can be in film class the one with the tsunami. I don't remember the name of it, I do not care to remember the name of it, I just know I hated it. I did not like it. I I really did not like it. It ugh. watching. Ugh, I just I did not care for it. It was just. It's not a movie for me. It is not a movie for me. No, thank you. I'm good. But yeah, I like all. I don't have a lot of movies I dislike, and I dislike that movie a bunch. So you can tell me. You can tell I did not like that. So yeah. Nothing. So. The hardest thing to accomplish from now to the end of the year is keeping my grades up. It's not the fact that my classes are hard. They're easy. It's just me. It's just me keeping myself on task, saying, hey, no matter what you want to do, you have to do this first. And prioritizing school over eating or napping because that's mainly what I do. I don't live a joyous life I'm trying to get there and I have my moments where I'm out with friends and I, and I can't constantly be on my phone talking to them I have to sit down and do my work and get that done no matter how tedious and annoying it is I have to do it so yeah that's going to be a hard thing to accomplish and actually keeping my grades up to where I can graduate and not rainbow graduate where I have to go through summer school so something that since 2020 has changed and marked a decade um I think that's something significant in my life has been just how I've grown as a person and I've gone from a child to who I am now and how my family has helped in that and how those I have met around me and my teachers have helped me grow and I think that has been very significant because it I went through a lot of phases and changes and trying to figure out who I was at times and went had a lot of arguments with it with my family and it's just something that will always stick with me all those memories I've had during this time and yeah hi I'm Brianna Mead I am doing this on May 5th 2020 the first question is how was the year this year was interesting 
a lot happened. My hair got longer, as you see. Um, I came into it with a different mindset, and I'm leaving with an entirely different one, and a new group of friends. Well, sort of. So yeah, it's interesting. So the next question is, what are your plans for next year? My plans would have to be college. I want to go to Seminole and get my degree. So, yeah, college. Question number three. What was the best thing about Apopka High School? My friends. I would have to say that. Some I've known since freshman year. Some I only met this year. And I would not be who I am without them. Because they have made me so happy. And I'm scared to leave them. Because I love them. They're my best friends. Even though they might not know it. I. They make me happy. So. They would have to be the best thing about that Apopka. So question number four is. Is there anyone at Apopka High School you would like to thank and why? There isn't one person I would like to thank because all my friends helped me grow all my teachers even the principals Arnold and then Hines it's just everyone played a part in helping me grow into who I am and I'm still not done growing so there isn't just one person or just even just a few people it's just everyone I some of y'all, some of the teachers and administrators were there for me whenever I was going through a very rough time. Like, Kelly and Miss Gardner. Like, everyone that knew me, that was my teacher and everything, was there whenever I was having a problem or I needed someone to talk to. Or even if I wasn't in a mood to talk to anyone. They were there. They lent, they lent a helping hand whenever I needed it. Even if they didn't, they were still there. They made me laugh during class. And I appreciate that. So, I thank everyone. Okay. Question number five. Who were memorable teachers you had throughout the years? That is a very hard word to say. <laughs> um, freshman year, Miss Minor. I miss her. I had her one year, but I loved her. <laughs> and then sophomore year would have to be my English teacher, because my class was very difficult to control, and she had moments where she broke down, and it made me realize that, hey, even though teaching is hard and kids are seriously disrespectful to others, well, to teachers, I sort of want to be one. Um, but they, teachers are allowed to break down and have a session where they can express. Um, and then 11th grade, all of my teachers, because each one was there in a different type of way, whether it was just keeping up with work or stuff like that, because 11th grade year was a very tough time for me. It's still... I still feel repercussions from it because it is very tough getting over something like what I did. And then this year, scale. <laughs> I loved like just going to your class. Like that was a best time. And then there's the rest of my teachers because again, everyone sort of played a huge part in me growing up this year. So, yeah. <laughs> um, is there anything you regret in the last year of school or would change or do over again? How I did school, like my schoolwork and my grades, that is the major point. Because I wanted to be good and pass all my classes this year. That did not happen. <laughs> so, that is 
major, yes, I want to go back and change that. But I must say, like, the way things played out with my friends and certain situations, sure, thinking back, I regret it, but I wouldn't change it now. Because it's something that helped me realize that, hey, I expressed myself and they didn't want me to, so I couldn't stay. That was something that I needed to learn and wasn't a very important lesson for me. Number seven, what was the most memorable moment of the school year? For me, that would have to be the football games because I made a promise to myself that I would be involved. I would go to things that were fun and just enjoy being a part of the school again. My hair's not wanting to cooperate anymore. Well, it never does. <laughs> but, yeah, football games. Either that or the ice skating rink. Because that was really fun. I met one of my new friends. I got to enjoy some time with friends. I fell a lot. I had a lot of bruises, but I had fun. And I wouldn't trade any of those moments for the world. I enjoyed them a lot. <laughs> Number eight. Where do you think you'll be in 10 years? Hopefully at a job. <laughs> um, in 10 years, I hope to at least get a job in the degree that I want, which right now I have no clue. It's either English or psychology, that's all I know. My mind is not wanting to give me definite plans, as per always. But yeah, that's something that I hope to do in at least 10 years. Yeah. Okay. What was the funniest thing that happened in your film class? Skill. <laughs> the entirety of that class was hilarious. But it would have to be when Tia, Jade, and I were just messing around, having fun, just enjoying life. I miss those two. <sighs> oh well. What is the most memorable thing that happened in your film class? When Scahill came back from chemo. That was amazing. <laughs> and plus the everyday hugs I got from Lilia. Lilia. I mispronounce. I may say her name with an accent. Yeah, I can't pronounce her name. And I can't pronounce English apparently either. But yeah. I, that entire class was just funny and memorable. I love that class. What is one thing that Scahill said or did that you remember or will remember? When he came back from chemo and the day after, the way he described his hair, he went like this and said, it feels like a chicken butt. I love that description. It is my favorite thing. <laughs> Number 12, how do you want to be remembered? Um, as someone that was helpful and kind and made people laugh. That's how I want to be remembered. I don't like pe seeing people upset, so I always try to make them laugh and feel happy. Doesn't always work. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I want to be remembered. Well, how I want to be remembered. What do you think you remember most about AHS 20 years from now? My friends, just the everyday routine, meet up with friends, just enjoying things. Certain teachers I don't like. You never remember the ones you, lo you like. No, you remember the ones you don't like. And it's awful. <laughs> Why does our brain remind us of the things we don't want to remember? But yeah, I'll most definitely remember my friends and how happy I was just going to school and just seeing them. Forget the school side, I was just happy to see my friends. <laughs> Alright, 
Introducing the films. <laughs> okay, so it's just gonna the first one's gonna be homecoming and all my friends dancing, having fun. And the second one's gonna be one of my friends recording me and my reaction to her recording me. It's very short videos. Um, and then the rest is just me just hanging out with my friends. Hi, my name is Jenny Zamora. I'm in ninth grade, and I think this is like the fourth week of school. I don't know, maybe third. I don't know. The most memorable thing that happened this year, wait, last year connected with school was um, I got a scholarship. Kind of excited for that. Um. I'm really excited for this class because I literally hated this class like when I saw it on my schedule but then the course the teacher is hella cool so like but I saw Annabelle the movie was kind of whack but it was kind of good but I just went with the wrong people that's all there is to it just didn't like the people I went with the song that's going through my head right now is a song that's like, I don't want to go to school tomorrow because I'll be thinking about you. But I'm not thinking about anybody. I just don't want to go to school tomorrow. What song or artist do you absolutely hate? I don't like James Charles because he's really full of himself. That's all there is to it. What was one time you laughed this summer? I'm really not sure, but I'll tell you a time when I cried. I also want to tell you this time because I'm really scared of roaches. And there was a roach on my hand because I was at my grandma's house and I guess love is dirty. But this was in Mexico, by the way. And then it was like a fat ass roach. like, And like the ones that fly, so like even more scary. So then I cried about it because I was really scared. And then I got made fun of. We love a supportive family. <laughs> Too much fucking tacos, bro. This is why we're all fat as fuck. I honestly really, really want good grades. Like, I'm not just saying that to say it. Like, I want good grades and I want to do better for myself. But getting good grades is hard as fuck. Here. My biggest challenge is probably going to be like turning in work on time. It's like, I'm a procrastinator. So, hey, girl, you're a cutie. Wait, no. That's a watermelon. It's been so long since I had any affection from a woman. I'm so lonely. And now, time for the shout outs. This is my dog who passed away recently. I love her so much. This is literally the light of my life and I love him so much. This is the first dog I've ever had and she's taught me a love that no one else would ever be able to teach me. This is the son of my other dog and I love him so much. This is Osita. Um, we lost my best friend and her mom the same day and I love her so much. And this is my mom, the reason I have everything I have today. Her and my dad, but... <laughs> I lost my paper. So it was here this whole time. Can you see me? Me puedes ver? I didn't ask to be born Latina. No mass, Tuesday sriracha. I suggest your car, your bedroom. Does it look like I have a car? I probably wouldn't be doing this, but my breast. Breast? My best friend is grounded. I like making this with. Do you even English? Why is it broken? Oh shit, I broke it. Where the fuck is my hairbrush? Look at my dog. Can you hear the Spanish? Fucking Mexicans. Oh shit. SPM is a Mexican rapper. He raped a girl. Well, he didn't rape her, but he touched her. Is that right? I don't know. So now he's in jail until 2024. Oh, but if not, then he serves until 2047. Why do I keep on doing that? Like, if you're not my whole ass teacher. This is us becoming friends, okay?
Georgia and you have to be good. And I'll be like, no bitch. But there I am being good anyways. I hate rich niggas, goddammit. Cause I ain't never had a lot, damn it. Have you ever seen a fucking Mexican who doesn't say the end? Just to make it to the top, damn it. I'm cultured. I guess I'm just cursed. But I've gotten my violation teachers for four fucking times. I talk like a little bit. Like, what the fuck? 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 Did he die? I was kind of like, where he at though? So I had a little boy. Has he for some time? I was like, is Mr. Scahill here? And he'd be like, him. So then I'd be like, that don't make sense. I was like, this man just quit on us, died, or lived. I was scared. For Christmas, I drank tequila for the first time. Is that okay to play? I don't know. I took fucking three shots. Two of them were behind my mother's back. But then one of them, I took it on her lap. So I fucking asked for a way to be lanky. And I didn't even know that for that experience. I thought they were like $10. That shit was $90. And honestly, I kind of only gave shit to my sister and my mom. Because my dad and brother were in Mexico. So to my sister, I got her for Secret Santa, so I gave her like a bunch of visco shit because she swears she's white. And then to my mom, I got her lipstick, so yeah. <laughs> So that movie was kind of good. The worst movie that we watched was that fucking alien movie, the alien and cowboys and alien. I don't know. That movie was trash. Like, why would you make us watch that? <laughs> Hey, I have this big ass project due tomorrow. So yeah. 
I did my makeup. I put on eyelashes. I don't remember the last video. But yeah, feeling fun, feeling fresh. Okay, so the first question. It went by hello fast. It was like June, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Done. I was excited for like the end of the year, like last day of school. But we didn't have that, so. Okay, so the second question. I don't even know if we're gonna have school next year because it's like nothing's getting better. It's only getting worse. So I don't know if we're gonna do online school next year or something of that nature. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Question number three. Definitely the PTSA ladies. Like when I would forget my food, I would buy their cookies. And just imagine being a PTSA lady. Like y'all dealing. Like y'all willingly around these kids and I don't think they get paid. This is me popping in from the next day. I just woke up and I forgot to do question number four. So question number four. The person I wanna thank is Miss Woods because she really kept me in check the whole year. Question number five. So my second year teacher handed him. He has so much work for no it's a reason for my downfall. Like, I would be thriving if it wasn't because of him. But it's alright because I think we're gonna pass. So, algebra 2, bye. And it's like, I really thought I was gonna fail this class. So it's like, I'm gonna go into pre calc not knowing anything. But it's fine. Like, what they're gonna do? Fail me again? Okay, anyway. Um, oh, more teachers. Mr. Skateboard, amazing chef. My fourth period teacher. I didn't like her at first. Love her. Love everything about her. I talked about her before too. Miss Woods. Yes. Yes. Love her. Question number six. I don't know if it's talking about if year last year or like last year, last year, like this year, last year. But definitely starting off wrong in the beginning and then like working in the end like busting my ass to try to get good better grades at the end like i did that last year and this year like she learned but she's not learning number seven the most memorable thing remember that week where we kept on having fire drills that was amazing it wasn't even drills i think people were pulling things but i love that like we would be out there for like 30 minutes question number eight 25. Okay, that means that I'd be like, I don't know, I want to be a nurse, so hopefully a nurse. Hopefully not lonely. I mean, I hope so. But yeah, maybe not lonely. And a nurse. Question number nine. I was in the class with Nick and him, so like every day was funny because he's a little, you know. But like, I don't know. I always found it really funny when like you wouldn't let him explain himself. Like he'd be like, "Can I ask a question?" And you'd be like, "Is it dumb?" And he'd be like, and then you'd be like, "Okay, never mind." And like, like sometimes his questions weren't that bad, but you still would like, I don't know, you still be like, "No, no." Question number 10. So, um, one time we were watching a movie, don't know what movie it is because, let me explain. Okay, so that day I slept really late, and so I was like, as soon as I get into third period, I'm gonna go to sleep, you know? And like, I don't think you know my name because, like, I was really quiet. Like, I wasn't quiet, but I didn't. I don't know. I was always on my phone, but I didn't, like, go to sleep or anything. So like that day I didn't sleep like at night. So then I was like, alright, I'm gonna get to third period and sleep. So I was sleeping or whatever. And it was like 30 minutes in, not 30 minutes, like 20 minutes in to the class. And then the movie we were watching, one of the characters' name was Jenny. And then they said Jenny, but I thought it was you. So the, or I thought it was the teacher. So then I woke up hella scared and like, I don't know. I was scared that people were gonna be like what is this called? On about. 
But no, nobody noticed. But then, yeah. Question number 11. Um, I liked you on a good day and didn't like you on a bad day. Because they always had like smart remarks. Like, like, you always had like something smart today. And I didn't like that. But then, when I, like on a good day, it was like, ha, you're fun. You know? Like, you would make like a dumb voice and you'd be like, me at first, you never. I don't know, I like that. Question number 12. If I want to get be remembered, like, like, I'm not stupid, but I'm not smart either. Like, I'm just like, like, if I want to do something, then I'll do it. And I'll do it right. But if I don't want to do it, then I won't do it. So I want to be remembered like that smart, stupid bitch. With the video, it's going to be uh, clips of my friends. So this is question number 14 and 15. Um, this is me explaining the clips and the clips are after this. So the first clip is going to be almost a year old. It's the last time I was with my best friends before they moved. Um, and then the second clip is going to be the first and second time that I skipped. They were like a day after, so like back to back, but they were only a second, so I had both days. And then the third clip is going to be my friends. It's only five of us in that video, but it was like what's left of us because we went from 15 to five because everybody moved away, you know, so yeah. And then the fourth video is going to be me and my best friend um he was really annoying to me at first and i'm really close and i'm really glad because he's a big part of my life okay and then the fifth clip is the day i went to the fair with my friend it was a day after spring break started so it was a friday and like it was like when corona was like really like everybody realized it was serious and nobody was at the fair like there was literally like max 10 group of, 10 groups of people so to the fair i went with alan cecilia brisby george and george's friend so yeah so yeah so yeah so, yeah. so i think the video clip is me then it's cecilia then it's brisby then it's alan then it's george yeah okay. sally no sally the sal Three years ago. I, I thought you were talking about a fight, bro. Come in my video, come in my video.